Hello everyone and welcome back to OECS 195 Java Programming in MSU Grants. Today we're going to look at installing NetBeans. Now you've reached chapter 13 which means you've gone through and learned the basics of Java programming and now we're going to do the installation in order to start creating GUI interfaces. That's the graphical user interface. The reason we've done it this way is to allow you to focus at the beginning of the course on just learning the basics. But, as all things, we must grow. And so now, let's get started and install NetBeans. So go ahead and go to Java, uh, excuse me, go to Google, and we're going to type in download NetBeans with JDK make sure you put this with JDK and what we're looking for is the NetBeans plus JDK bundle right here alright great and you'll see this page and what we want to do is locate the proper um, operating system in my case Windows 64 right here 64 bit and click to download oh yes and this tells you you must accept the license that is right here and now go ahead and let it download of course I already have that downloaded so I'm just going to say no and come back in a minute give you time to pause and then we will go through the next steps okay great welcome back now Go ahead and locate your version of the NetBeans-2 8.2. Double click it. Click yes. And notice that the installer will pop up. I have two monitors, so it keeps hopping to the other one. And it's going to go ahead and tell you the installer wants to install NetBeans. Say next. Accept the license. Go ahead and read through that if you so choose now this is really important make sure that this says install NetBeans IDE 2 and locate the JDK now we have had problems before of it not recognizing the JDK and so what I want you to do go ahead and click browse and you should see several versions or maybe a couple if you have them such as this and what I want you to do is go to the newest version, if you have more than one, which should be the 141 or perhaps 142. Go ahead and click on it and tell it OK. Even though that was in there, we want to make sure that it's locating the proper JDK. Go ahead and click Next. Um, you can go ahead and leave that for updates if you want. And go ahead and let it install. This will take a while, so due to the magic of movies, as they say, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and I'll be back as soon as it's installed. And remember, pause here until yours is installed. Okay, back again 15 minutes later. And now you should be looking at a screen like this. And this just asks if you would like to contribute to the NetBeans project by providing anonymous user data. It's up to you. Go ahead and click finish. And now, go ahead and locate your icon for NetBeans. Hopefully you have one. And I believe mine aha, is on the desktop. So let's go ahead and click. and you should get a screen that looks like this so far so good now notice it's building dictionary that's fine go ahead and let it do that now the next thing we want to do is test and make sure that our program has worked properly now if you look in your file or on the page uh, that this is in canvas you should have a link to download the test file. So what we're going to do 
after you've downloaded that file and make sure that you unzip it that's required is go to file open project we're going to go to that project and you're going to click on the hello world now you'll click it one time you'll click open and it should open like this now let's look at this real quick so here is our actual editor over here's our project the files and services and down here of course is our navigation now let's look here notice the negative and positive sign minus and plus if you click that will either collapse or expand and what we want to do is go ahead and go down into the source packages and keep going down until we get to hello world dot java now if you're receiving this as it is excellent however if you have a lot of little red dots or yellow signs that kind of look like yield signs or maybe ed a red exclamation point this means that it is not finding your JDK now there will be another video uh, posted up that shows you how to get through the step if it tells you that you're having that problem however if you follow the instructions you should be okay so pending everything it was working you'll go ahead and click on hello world notice that brings us over here and now when you click run you should see hello New Mexico slightly modified now let's look at the Java syntax that you've already been used to of course you know this public class right here this is required right hello world in this case has to be the same as your name up here hello world Java now in your past lessons you've been calling that public class main now you have all kinds of freedom so if you wanted to let's just create a new one real quick so what you'll do is go to new and a new Java class we can name this main or let's just name it Fred for fun okay we can tell it to finish and notice we have this Fred file Fred here now if we, we can just move this out for now actually if we went ahead and made the same program that we have over here right we can say oops, public static void main string oops, boxes args and then curly braces all right now we can go to our next line system dot out dot print ln hello oecs 195 now notice here we have the syntax highlighting and it tells us uh oh there's a mistake and if you look right there it says oop it's expected to have a semicolon ah beautiful now if we go run we get hello New Mexico now you say well why is this this is hello world well the first thing we need to do is we need to run this file and there it is hello OECS 195 when you have multiple files in the same uh, folder here in this default package in the same package and it will run the last one that you've done even if you tell it and highlight on that one it doesn't know now here's the other thing that's important it's going with the default and in this case the default was hello world that was the first one so even as I move this around it's saying what's going on but all you have to do is right click and then go to run file and it will run that one alright I hope that answers your questions and you're able to get set up Remember, the entire textbook has been talking about NetBeans, so if you have questions, go ahead and flip back to the beginning of the book, Chapter 1, look at instruction, 
and from chapter 13 on you will be using NetBeans. Alright, happy coding!